reason why I think RJ Barrett's going to win the most improved award this year is because last year he's improved steadily every single year, becoming one of the best young guards in the NBA. Not only that, he's averaged 17 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists in his last season, which are some great numbers for a third year guard. But here's the real question, will he be able to come out and improve? Well, because most young guards take a little bit more longer to develop, and now that Julius Randle has improved a lot, they'll have another person that the offense will be focusing on, R.J. Barrett might come out and dominate, because now every single offense is focusing, and defense are focusing on other players, like Julius Randle, and now he's going to have a lot of space to open up and score. You have to remember, R.J. Bear was the third overall pick and one of the best players coming out of Duke. So it would be surprising if R.J. Bear doesn't come out and have another good year. Plus, he's been improving by quite a bit every single year, going from 14 points to 17 points, becoming one of the better scorers on a young, young Knicks team. If R.J. Barrett steps up the way that he could, that he can this year, then Knicks might be a new, new scary team for the East because... They'll have Julius Randle, who's good on offense and a decent defender, who's a first-time All-Star this year and second-team All-NBA player, and an R.J. Barrett, who can be an All-Star. He's a great talent for all of your teams in the NBA to have to look out for. If this dynamic duo can play well enough, they can end up coming back and doing some really serious damage in the East. Not only that, there are other teams that team players and teams that other defenses we'll be focusing on, so it's going to be tough. Make sure you like and subscribe.